morning, actually good afternoon, it's 3 p.m. already from Amsterdam. My name is Ivana and today we are doing absolutely nothing because it is a Sunday. You're supposed to chill on Sundays. <laughs> Going back to healthy food after yesterday's YOLO day. So I am just having the best oatmeal ever, apple cinnamon. Pineapple cinnamon, no. <laughs> it is almost 5 p.m. I made some lunch for myself, so this is just spinach and tofu, and I just had some rice crackers. Stefan and I are going to watch the Big Friendly Giant, which I haven't seen, and I really wanted to, to watch it in the movie theater, but we didn't have time before I left. So we're just doing that right now, because it's a lazy Sunday, and you're not supposed to do anything on a lazy Sunday. We both fell asleep and didn't finish watching the Big Friendly Giant. Apparently today is a very big vlogging fail. You know, sometimes those days happen. Uh, I just made some dinner. Broccoli, corn, veggie burger, and we have some sweet potatoes over here. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put in some flashbacks from Dutch vlogs. So you can see more of destinations where I've been before I started vlogging in English. Let's just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday in the in the office Christmas party there was a DJ. You know that sound like <laughs> he was making it. Uh, he was making that sound like all the time. But usually like DJs have that sound below a button, right? So Flashback. Somebody just recently asked me what my favorite country was before I came to India. Well, it was China. I spent a month in China traveling from Beijing to Xi'an to Shanghai and to Chengdu. So we are first starting out in Beijing. I was very lucky when I visited because the pollution was not bad at all and the first place I visited was the Forbidden City. It is quite famous for the Tiananmen Square but to be very fair I was not that impressed by it. The Forbidden Palace or the Forbidden City because it's a palace but it's huge. It is actually a city. is such a gorgeous place to see. You really really need to go here because it's really impressive. For me personally, it was very fascinating to see a place which was only accessible to kings and queens when it was used. And nowadays, us peasants <laughs> can also visit this place. One cannot go to China and not visit the Great Wall, right? It would be basically blasphemy. So, of course, I went to visit the Great Wall, one part of it, because the Great Chinese Wall is insanely long. This part is one of the most touristy parts. It's also one of the most preserved parts. And this was also a little bit of a letdown for me because it was incredibly crowded. Uh, don't think it's not crowded because you see only see me filming in a little bit less crowded parts it was very very crowded and I would highly recommend you to take a private tour to a less crowded part of the wall check who still Chinese people are so incredibly sweet. Yes, I have been told that I've been treated like a princess because I'm a foreigner, but everywhere where I went, I have been treated with nothing but kindness. Hello. Can you say your name? Um, Sun Yang. Sun Yang? Uh, your name? Jing Jing. Jing Jing? Oh, that yeah. is such a cute name. <laughs> <laughs> your name? Ye Zi. Ye Zi. Mm. I love Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> One thing China has in common with India is the incredible amount of vegetarian dishes. That's why I loved it in the first place. So this is hot pot. You need to try that. It's amazing. And also dim sum is ridiculously delicious. After Beijing, I took a long train ride to Xi'an. This was also an incredible experience, which I can highly recommend. And also in the train, I met some really lovely Chinese people. Yang Yao. Yang Yao. Coco. Nice to meet you. Coco. Coco. Hello. 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 Hi, Coco. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Something ridiculous happened when I arrived in Xi'an. I met Aukia and Aukia worked at the same company as me but she left one month earlier before I arrived. So of course we spent the rest of our time in Xi'an together exploring the city. One of our favorite parts of the city was the Muslim area where they have amazing food. You cannot miss that. Xi'an was part of the Silk Route and is one of the oldest Chinese cities. One thing that it's also famous for are these terracotta warriors. But to be fair, Aoki and I were more impressed with everything that was happening in the city, including garbage trucks. <laughs> One of the highlights of my visit to Xi'an was this light show at the Goose Pagoda. Love the colors in the fountains and in China you can just trespass and dance in the fountain. This is also a really cool thing to do at the city wall. You can rent a bicycle and ride around on the whole city wall. Of course I had to do this because I'm a duchy and we cycle around and I hadn't been on a bicycle for months so yeah, this was awesome. <laughs> This is just half of my memories in China, so I want to know if you guys like these flashbacks. Let me know down in the comments below. Tomorrow will be a normal vlog again, but of course, if you like this, I can do it more often. I made homemade paneer. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so pretty. Over there is the palace. This is the monument of the Second World War. 